my channel simplified organic so today's topic i'm going to discuss is structure of pcl5 structure of pcl5 phosphorus pentachloride phosphorus atomic number 15 configuration neon 3s2 3px1 3PY1, 3PZ1, and 3DZ square zero. So first we need to find out the number of number of unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons needed. Number of unpaired electrons needed is equal to number of total number of bonds total number of bonds formed by formed by phosphorus so total number of bonds formed by phosphorus are 5 right? so we need 5 unpaid electrons so what I will do here I will excite this S electron into the D so in the first excited state the first excited state the configuration will be 3s1 3px1 3py1 3pz1 and 3dz square 1 now phosphorus has 5 valence unpaid electrons so these are the d orbitals so each having one electron and total five are. so first we need to find out the number of unpaired electrons needed that will be equal to the total number of bonds formed by the phosphorus or central atom so five bonds it is forming so therefore I need five electrons five unpaired electrons now the, now the question is how many electrons will be in the hybridization so number of orbitals number of orbitals in hybridization is equal to number of sigma bonds and lone pair so in case of pcl5 the total number of sigma bonds are 5 5 sigma bonds so therefore 5 orbitals will un be in the hybridization so what kind of hybridization we will see here sp3d 1s 3p and 1d so therefore the hybridization here is sp3d so phosphorus undergo sp3d hybridization so sp3d hybridization this is the second step third step is that number of hybridized orbitals formed will be equal to number of orbitals number of orbitals in hybridization number of orbitals in hybridization so total 5 orbitals are in hybridization 1s 3p and 1d so Five orbitals are in hybridization, so a hybridized orbital formed will be five. So those five hybridized orbitals will orient in trigonal bipyramidal structure. So for sp3d hybridization, the geometry will be trigonal. Trigonal bipyramidal trigonal bipyramidal means there will be a triangle there will be a triangle and this triangle have three bonds phosphorus at the center one two three three CLC and one CL above the plane and one CL 
below the plane. So this is trigonal bipyramidal, also represented as for the bond angles. The bond angles here. Here this bond angle is 90 degrees, and this bond angle is 120 degrees. So two types of bond angles we see: 90 degrees and 120 degrees. And moreover, a very important point to note here is these bonds which are above and below the plane, these are called as axial bonds. The bonds which are above and below the plane are called as axial bonds. And the bonds which are in the plane of the triangle are called as equatorial bonds. These are called as equatorial bonds. So in case of trigonal bipyramidal, you will find two types of bonds, axial bonds above and below the plane and equatorial bond in the plane of the triangle and a very interesting point to note here is PCL axial bonds PCL axial bonds are longer than PCL equatorial bonds equatorial bonds this is a very important point to note axial bonds of PCL are longer than bond I am talking about bond length are longer than equatorial PCL bonds this is due to the axial chlorines axial chlorines will have more repulsions will have more repulsions as compared to that of equatorial chlorines because of the 90 degrees bond angle because of the 90 degrees bond angle they are very close to other CLs means for example for example these are the equatorial chlorines and uh, these are the axial chlorines. So what happened? These axial chlorines will have some repulsions with these equatorial chlorines. They have some repulsions because they have lone pair. Each chlorine have some lone pairs. Three pair of lone pairs. So therefore, there will be some repulsions. So this bond angle, so this bond length increases this bond length increases this axial CL experience more repulsions when compared to that of equatorial CL therefore axial PCL bond length are, is more than that of equatorial PCL bond length that is about the structure of PCL5 in detail we need to think about three steps First one, how many number of unpaired electrons are needed? Second, number of orbitals in hybridization. And third, number of hybridized orbitals formed. So the point is what kind of bond is this? What kind of bond we can say? This is sigma sp3d p type of bond. Because this bond is formed with the combination of sp3d and p orbital of chlorine so that is about the structure of pcl5 thank you very much bye bye take care